Well, tonight we are continuing to follow the back and forth in Albany after news that Governor Cuomo and his top staff are now subject of a federal investigation. As first reported by the Albany Times Union, the FBI and the U.S. Attorney's Office are both looking into the state's handling of nursing homes and other long-term care facilities during the pandemic. State Republicans are now going as far as calling for the governor's impeachment. Andrew Cuomo is unfit to continue his service as governor of the state of New York. I and now many others have called for impeachment articles to be drafted. Republicans are the party minority in the state capitol, but today assembly Republicans called for the formation of a bipartisan group to address impeachment. Now, state Democrats from the governor's own party are also reacting to the investigation news. Join your sides, Rob Hackford heard from some representatives earlier tonight. I think for many of the Democratic state legislators, I think we feel blindsided and betrayed. That's how Western New York Assemblyman Patrick Burke described his feelings towards Governor Cuomo following reports that a federal probe is now looking into the administration's handling of nursing home deaths. The governor withholding that information from us. I am furious with him and his administration, and so are, I think, most of my colleagues. Information that lawmakers first requested back during these August hearings, but were stonewalled from seeing, says State Senator Gustavo Rivera. Ultimately and sadly, this administration, as far as I'm concerned, is all gut and brain and not much heart or ears. Rivera is the Senate chairman for the Committee on Health and was on the call when a top aide to the governor revealed that information was kept from lawmakers and the public. And like Burke and Cuomo, is also a Democrat. So how is your block responding to this and are you going as far as impeachment like Republicans have requested? What our responsibility is right now is to be legislators and to legislate and to hold the governor accountable, certainly. Uh, unlike some of my Republican colleagues, I do not believe that there was some deep conspiracy here. But Rivera and Burke are among the growing group of lawmakers who think it's time for the legislature to regain its power. Rivera highlighted a new batch of bills unveiled last week that would tighten safety, transparency and discharge standards for nursing homes. The Democratic majority knows how uh, how tragic all of these events were, knows that we have to act to resolve them and we're going to act legislatively to do so. I, I mean, we've got work to do and there needs to be a, a full accounting of what's happened. Burke added that he doesn't believe any criminal charges were committed by Cuomo's administration. Rivera said he'd let the investigation play out. In Buffalo, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.